Greetings people, tis I, 480 volts, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now in the last video, the second before I closed, uh, before I ended the video, Nabi was like, hey! So let's see what she has to say. Darunia said that a fairy lives on top of Death Mountain, didn't he? Yeah, he did kind of say that, so what, you want me to go and see her? I mean, you're a fairy, why do I need to go see another fairy? Oh, right, they said she was beautiful, and you're not. Because you're, like, so tiny, nobody can see you. Well, you can sure hear you, though. There's always a bit of a delay when I hit those guys with a jump slash. There's, like, a little delay where it feels like I didn't hit them. All right, now, that's a wall that I can clearly bomb. I'm actually gonna leave it. Now I hear a g Oh, no, no, I'm not. I'm going to bomb it, actually. Um, with my new bombs! Um, there is one wall I will want to leave, but yeah, it's not this one. This one has a gold sculpture in it. So let's, uh... Let's take him out. Now, I don't think it matters if you come here in the daytime or nighttime. Unfortunately, I can't reach that token, right? Or not? Um, yeah, for some reason, this is a this is a wall that Link can climb. It doesn't really look like it, but there you are. All right, I got twenty-one of those bad boys. I will want to go and pay a visit to the Sculptula House in um, Kakariko Village because there's something I can do there. Right. Oh, good. More bombs. Nice. Which one is the... Okay, we're actually headed back to Kakariko Village. I don't want to go there. I want to keep going up this way. So how are you guys doing? And I'm not going to switch to the Deku shield either. I'm going to keep this Hylian shield. For now, it's going to be kind of useful in a minute. Oh boy, this dude. Yeah, he missed me. This is the wall I'm not going to bomb. I'll bomb it later. There's, um... The prize that's in there is not something that is of any use to me right now. Now, how do I get to where... Okay. I actually want to go up this way. Yes, I want to go up this way. There is a boulder blocking my path. Actually, I can just sneak right by it. If you're interested, though, you can bomb it with your bombs. If you're interested, you can get five rupees out of the deal. Totally useless considering, well, I'm capped out. All right. Now, I better save because I don't want to waste a lot of bombs. And this is another instance where I need to, uh... I need to throw the bomb at just the right time. Oh, I did it on the first try. What do you know? And there's a five rupee deal up there. All right, now, for some reason, Link doesn't want to jump here. So what I end up having to do is go into uh, Z mode not that. Yeah, and basically do a jump. Okay. I still messed that up. I don't know why he won't automatically jump this, but I have to... Okay. There, he, he, he jumped that time. I don't know why he has trouble right there. It's like the distance is too far, but... They want you to jump that way, so I don't know what you're supposed to do at that point. Now, I don't think this is of any use, but let's bomb it anyway. Oh, no, it is. Uh, Link. <laughs> Actually, no, it's really not, because all it is is more rupees that I don't need, and a few hearts that I don't need, and a cow. Yeah, this place was useless. I should have saved this for some other time. Oh, well. There is some useful stuff here, though. Or there's a very useful thing here. 
and that's over this way. Now, remember, this is why we want the Hylian shield, because when you crouch and you press, uh, when you press R with the Hylian shield, he'll crouch, and, um, you know, he's got, hit basically, he's like a turtle that is just inside its shell, right? So if you go down this way, the ground starts shaking, and rocks start falling, because it's Death Mountain, you see. But if you crouch with your Hylian shield, you're safe from the damage. I've also heard you can do this. Yeah, if you couldn't see what I just did. Oh, I took one hit because I got careless. It's literally okay. I'm not worried about that. Yeah, if you couldn't see what I did, I just, uh, I pressed L and, or sorry, L. I held down, um, Z. And then I just uh, walked backwards. Believe it or not, you actually walk a little bit faster when you're going backwards. So it was a way for me to stay ahead of the boulder rocks. Because otherwise it's like you gotta... You gotta stop every couple of seconds just to uh, crouch. And it, you know, it can get a little annoying. But also, it's okay if you just take the damage. It's not the end of the world if you just walk and take the damage. A, there's a fairy. You can get a fairy out of that stone. Oh, well, I didn't mean to do that. Also, that guy restored my health. But more importantly, um, I'll talk to the owl later. But more importantly, we got this bombable wall here. And if you go in here, we hear the Great Fairy's Fountain. Well, I don't see any fairies. I do see the Triforce symbol. And remember what I said, when you see the Triforce symbol, you always play Zelda's Lullaby. But let's go ahead and do that real quick. Now, remember when they said, the Goron said there was a fairy that lived up here and she was very beautiful? How beautiful do you think she is? That was kind of a creepy laugh. <laughs> Make it go away! Make it go away! Ah! What is that? Welcome, Link. I am the great fairy of power. <laughs> what do you mean she's beautiful? <laughs> That's the thing that... That's the thing that you asked mommy to check under the bed for. What's wrong with you? I'm going to grant you a sword technique. I have no words for this. I really don't. Receive it now. <laughs> uh, and she laughs like, oh, oh boy. Ugh. This was supposed to be a kid's game. You master the secret so sword technique of the spin attack. Hold B to charge your weapon. Release B, excuse me, to unleash a wave of energy with your spin. If you want to release energy without charging your weapon, just rotate um, the control stick once and press B for a very effective quick spin. That doesn't seem to work. When you charge power for a spin attack, magic power will be consumed. Pay attention to your green magic meter. Hey, boy, you're a messenger of the royal family, aren't you? Next time you're in their neighborhood, you should drop in on a friend of mine who lives by Hyrule Castle. Oh, really? Does she look better than you? She'll surely grant you a new power. <laughs> when battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. No, thanks. Oh, and that scream that she does. Okay, well, she did give me, uh, well, okay, I guess she didn't. Well, if you didn't have full health, if you had taken extensive damage from the boulders, she would, uh, well, she'd refill that, so that's nice. 
But yeah, if we hold down the, uh, the B button, we can charge up this sword thing, and bam. And, and she said if we rotate the stick once, we can do that. I don't really... I don't know. I don't know. It... Yeah, it's just, why? Why? Um, now down in here is an area that, um, we actually... You'll see. This is Death Mountain Crater. Uh, do I want to do something with this now or later? It's so hot in here, we can't stay in here long. Yeah, we can, we've really only got, like, less than a minute to hang out in here. And, um, you actually can get something in there? Um... You know, I think I'm gonna wait. I'll wait till later in the game. We can get something in there. That, you know, in the short time that we're allowed in there. But I'll let it, I'll let it. I'll save it for another time. And let's see. I guess that's all I need to do. I guess I'll speak to the owl. Um, or not. I'm trying to talk to you, dude. There we go. Woo, woo. Well, it looks like you've grown up a little from the great fairy's power, does it? That's because I've seen some things, but you still don't really look like the hero who will save Hyrule. At least not yet. Oh. Well, you look like a big, fat, dumb pinecone. How do you feel now? If you are going back down the mountain, I can lend you a wing. Come here and grab my talons and hold on tight. Woo -hoo. Yeah, let's stand in his shadow for a free air ride. Yeah, those uh, fairies, I... <laughs> you got me, I, I don't know what. I don't know what the big wigs at Nintendo were thinking. I don't know who drew that and said, hey, look, what do you think of this? M my guess is they wanted to make fun of the idea that fairies are beautiful. Anyway, here we are in Kakariko Village. Um, we're on top of this roof. Now, below me is the girl who lost her cuckoos. And I can drop down, don't, there we go. Yes, I can drop down here now um, on this little thing that I was trying to figure out how to get to earlier in the game. And I knew I wanted to get on top of here because if you walk through this doorway, you find yourself in this cow's cage with a heart piece. All right. Now, let me also go ahead and pay a visit to the Gold Sculptula's house. Um... Ooh! Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. I'm, I was... I was... Thinking to myself, and then I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm still kind of in shock from the Great Fairy. Ugh! Ugh! How many kids did she give nightmares? Uh, there's a video on YouTube where you can listen to the audio clips of the cackles she makes and the scream, and somebody said... Just imagine back in the day, they hired some girl, and she probably screamed, you know, scream combination laughed, you know, 20 to 50 times before they finally said, okay, that take is the one. Anyway, uh, this, yeah, this dude right here, he's no longer a Sculptula because we've, uh, we've, we've collected at least 20 tokens. He's going to give me a reward for that. He's going to give me the Stone of Agony. If you equip a Rumble Pack, it will react to nearby secrets. Oh, well if only I had a Rumble Pack, eh? Well, obviously I do because... Okay, I'm just looking. Because, uh, okay. I don't have a Rumble Pack. This is, I'm playing this on the Switch. Um, and I'm, what's more, I'm using a non-64 controller, as I call it, a Nintendo controller. It has built-in rumble with it, so there you go. Um, but what what this work, or how this works, I should say, uh, I lost my train of thought. Okay, if you're nearby, um, if there's, if you're close to, like, some secrets, like, a some treasure, some hidden treasure, your controller will actually start vibrating, sort of like a metal detector. So that's cool. 
Now let's see, there's a few things I can do. Um, yeah, we might as well go ahead and do this. That fairy said to um, check up on her friend over at Hyrule Castle. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, there's actually a few things we can do here in Hyrule Castle Town. Might as well do it. Um, yeah, let's start with this. So, okay, there was it was one of the bazaars. I think it was this one. No, this is the target range place. I don't want to go here. Maybe it was this place? Yes, this place. The Bomb Chew Bowling Alley. We were here before, but they weren't open. Hey, wake up, chick! Huh? What? Uh-oh! A customer! <laughs> this, is, this is every e-girl in 2024 that now has a job. Welcome to our Cutting Edge Amusement Center! The Bomb Chew Bowling Alley. Do you want to know what you can win? Well, it's a s secret. I can't tell you until you've paid to play. Well, that's dumb. She really is an e-girl. Okay, um, this place opens up once you get bombs. It's 30 rupees per game. Do you want to play? Uh, yeah, I will, but I'm going to save. Um, you can get some rewards. Some of them are good, some of them are not. Unfortunately, I don't know what they are until I pay. Aim for the hole in the center and let bomb shoot go. Let's bowl. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's what you can win. Uh, not really worth it. Can sit, that's money. Um, let's see, I wanna see how this works. I wanna see how the random number generators work. Okay, so that's pretty consistent. What if I say no, and then I talk to her again, and then agree to pay? Okay, that's pretty consistent. Um, let's try one more experiment. Let's leave and come back. Okay, so it does change if I leave and come back. Sweet. Um, here, I'll show you how the... Well, no. I'm going to... I'm going to cut until she starts offering the thing that I want. So, here we go. Ah, that's one of the things I want. Let's go ahead and uh, save... So the way this minigame works, we're not actually bowling in the way that we know. So we are given this thing called Bomb Chew. And well, basically you just, uh, you press the B button to use it. Okay, see I already screwed up. This is why I'm save stating. Um, it's basically like a rocket. That basically goes straight ahead, and you want it to, uh, you want to get it into that target hole. Now, here's where it gets a little difficult, because you don't want to hit that, that spiked, uh, sort of mine, and you don't want to hit that cuckoo down there. And unfortunately, that cuckoo's a little close to where we need it to be. Now, some people like to ride the wall. I'm going to try to see if I can do it this way. Yeah, that's, that's not happening. That is not happening because of how Link is standing. If I can get him to stand it, j yeah, like right there. That cuckoo's gonna get in my way. Oh, I went too high, oh wow. Um, Cause you only got like 10 shots in total. Let me try it this way, let me, let me. Let me try. Let me try that. Too high. 
This is all about angles. That's too high. Oh, maybe that's it. Okay, that was it. All right, now this one, um, this one I could do a straight shot down, but it's, I've got three things to avoid. So trying to do that would be pretty darn difficult. We can give it a shot though. Oh, I, that would be perfect if, if the big cuckoo, if the little cuckoo wasn't in the way. That's not gonna work. First off, I wasn't even paying attention to the trap. That's not gonna work. Stupid. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm wasting shots now. I'm being impatient. Alright, let's just try to, let's just try to, again, bank it on the wall. That might, no? Why didn't that work? That should have worked. That's not gonna work. Just a little too high. That's too high. Oh man, just a touch. Too high. Too low. I don't know what happened there. Way too high. Maybe? Nope, too low. Well, I'm out of shots. Is that the money shot? Oh, almost. Let's uh, reload. Trying to get Link at just the right angle. Too high. That might be it. Yes! Winner! Winner! Cuckoo dinner! All that for a freaking, uh, bigger bomb bag. Now you can carry more bombs, up to a maximum of 30. Uh, um, sure, we'll play again. Ah, she really wants to sell me that, uh, that, uh, purple rupee. Let's not. Yep, she really wants to sell that purple rupee. All right, I'm gonna leave and and uh, come back, and I'm gonna keep doing this until I get the until she offers the prize I want. So hang on. Ah, she's offering the thing, the heart piece. I definitely want that. Now, I'm not gonna walk you through this whole thing again. I'm just going to save, and I'm going to cut to when I finally win this heart piece. All right, well I learned something that if you hold bomb shoe for too long, it blows up in your face. So that's nice, but it's okay because I got my heart piece and that's all I care about. No, I don't want to play again. There is another prize I can win. That's kind of cool, but um, I don't think it's worth it. I think, um, I think the thing, the other thing that I can win I can possibly get again. Now I am going to just uh, collect a few rupees real quick. 
um, fill up my uh, inventory since I'm here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I think I used a bit of magic. Oh. But there would be rupees hidden in here. Fine. Nothing here. All right, let's get out of here. Now we're going to actually take the fairy's advice and we're going to go to... We're going to go to uh, Hyrule Castle and see if we can't see her friend. All right, so... Um, just like before, we get there by climbing the, climbing these vines, which I am still having trouble doing, apparently. That's weird. Uh, uh, can you not get up there? Okay, you can't get up there. All right, that's fine. That's right, of course you can't get up there. Oh! I just go down here. Sneak past the guards. They're... Dumb, they're idiot, they're negligent. Um, and we got a rock here, right? Well, if you lay a bomb here... Yeah, there's a hidden crawl space. Let's go through here. Ah, oh boy. Another great fairy's fountain. This one better look better than the other one. We'll say I like the background. Kind of trippy. I'll give, I'll give that voice actress props on that fry scream she does. That sounds pretty sick. But just why? I don't even. Okay, she's the fairy of magic. She's gonna give me a magic spell. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, from getting the last one, we got a magic uh, meter now. So we have to watch that magic meter. It uses magic, we run out of magic. Yeah, that, that should be self-explanatory. We got Din's Fire. It fireball engulfs everything. It's magic, it's attack magic you can use with C. <laughs> you can use Din's Fire not only to attack, but also to burn things. You look like you would like burning things. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. No thanks! Ugh. Well, she refilled my magic, at least. I swear, every time you go and see one of those, it's like they take a little bit of your soul, and by the end of the game, they're like, well, you're ours now! You will do our nefarious bidding. I'm waiting for her to lick her lips. Ugh. Ugh. Poor little Link. That's all I can say. All right, now how long have I been going for? Okay, there's uh, another thing that I can do. Um, yeah, that's that. By the way, that's how you get out of. Uh, that's how you get out of. Uh, how you get back through the gate? Because last time Impa just sort of ninja us by there. No, Impa Impa is cool. All right, so t there's one more thing that I want to do. We best save. Uh, yeah, we're good. Oh, no, I'm not good because that bridge is raised. That's a problem. Here, let me get in here real quick. I'm gonna grab some more rupees. Mm. 
If I can, if I can get up to my my uh, 200, great. If not, it's not the end of the world. I know how to get 200 rupees relatively quickly, but I would like to uh, save that for just a little. That's a one-time thing that I would like to save. Okay, got my 200 rupees. Let me get out of here. Let me play the sun song. All right, now the bridge is down and I can leave. Okay, now I'm going to go this way. I'm gonna follow this canal. Alright, so here we are at Zora's River. Ah! I got a magic jar. Your magic meter is filled. Well, that's nice. Oh, hey there, Mr. Al. Woohoo! Looks like you've gotten bigger and stronger already, Link. Just ahead lies Zora's domain. The Zoras serve Hyrule's royal family by protecting this water source. Their door will not open for anyone except those who have some connection with the royal family. Let them hear the melody of the royal family. Hoo, hoo, hoo. In other words, play them Zelda's lullaby. I get it. You don't do much, Mr. Owl, do you? You just fly around and, and uh, tell me things. You don't really have much of a life. Okay, well, anyway, you just uh, bust through those rocks here. And, um, yeah, this is the dude I want to talk to now. I believe... Uh, no. Here, let's grab a a jar of bugs for a second. I believe Uh you going to go in there? So you see the the uh Let me try it again. I wasn't really standing on it. Yeah. As you can see, these bugs don't really seem to care about this patch of soft soil here. Well, there's no gold sculpture in there. I believe that's the only one. Now, I don't mind wasting the bugs because I actually need one of my jars to be empty for later on. But, well, there you go. Um, and uh, I'll go back to bombs. But what's up with this dude? What's he munching on? Chomp, 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 chomp. How about some magic beans? They aren't selling very well. How about 10 rupees for one piece? That's not bad. 10 rupees, I can afford that. You got a magic bean! Find a suitable spot for a garden and plant it with C. Then wait for something fun to happen. On the select item subscreen, you can select yeah yeah. If you want to plant beans, go around and look for soft soil. Yeah. Now, does that show up in my inventory? It does. I have one. All right, what does Navi want? I wonder if Saria knows anything about the other spiritual stone. Uh, we'll have to find out. Um, I guess we could ask her. Okay, so what you do, um, this soft soil has no, um, what do you call it, sculptula in it. But if I use the magic beans here, that happens. It grew a plant. Well, okay, that plant is not going to become useful to us until later in the game. So, oh well, well, let's talk to this guy again. He's gonna... He's going to, uh... He's gonna charge me 20 rupees now. He, uh, he added 10 more to his price. 
Well, believe it or not, I want to spend a bunch of money and buy a whole bunch of these magic beans. See, they're starting to get quite popular because I'm buying them. And he, he adds 10 more rupees each time. So the price accumulatively gets more and more expensive. They're all the rage, 40 rupees. Basically, I want to buy, I want, I want to cap out, um, you can, you can buy 10 total. Now that includes the first one that I bought that I already planted. So even though it says I have three, I have bought a total of four. We have the popular magic beans. You'll regret it if you don't buy them now. 50 rupees, yeah, just for now. And I'm going to go ahead and use the last of my money to buy one, oh no, that, uh, I don't have the money. Nope, I don't have the money. I don't have the monies. But I can get the monies. All I need is 10 rupees. Oh, hello, bombs. Huh. What if I... Oh, whoa, 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 wait on a second. Ooh, my controller's vibrating. That means, um, that means that the, uh, the, uh, Stone of Agony is trying to tell me that there's a piece of treasure here. I'm guessing it's, uh, a hole in the ground that I need to reveal with a bomb. That would be my guess. See, it could be here. Huh, where is it? I want to use all my bombs. See, unfortunately, the thing doesn't... Okay, it seems to really be vibrating here. Huh, I don't know where it is, but it's definitely vibrating. You guys can't tell, but my controller is going nuts. Hang on, I'm just, I'm just, I'm monitoring the rate of vibration on my controller. So it does get a little stronger as I get closer. It's pretty strong here. It's a little weaker here. It's strong right here. Pretty strong right here. All right, well, I don't know. I'll have to do more research about that, but it is, it is vibrating like crazy over there. Um, anyhow, I'm just going to uh, collect a few more rupees. I just need six more. Come on, I can get three more. I can totally get three more. Really? Can't even get me three more? Ugh, the owl is back. He's always, he's always there. Why is it giving me magic bottles and bombs, things I don't need? Just give me two more, just give me one more rupee, literally one more. I'm gonna try to avoid the owl. Ah! Can you leave me alone? Ah. 
Ah, and I can't skip this dude. Bye. You're kind of annoying, you know that? Uh, it's like a whole cutscene with him. He's worse than Navi. You know, I wonder if it's like in the center of the these rocks. That that's the only thing that makes sense. No? Huh. Well, I'll pick up the bombs at least. Come on, can I get one rupee, please? I don't need this stuff. I need a rupee. I literally need one rupee. Thank you. Now I can buy this uh, this guy's magic beans. Uh, how many do I have? So this th this will be number six. All right. Now what I am going to do, I'm going to hike back to Kakariko Village and I will meet you there. Okay, uh, by Kakariko Village, I of course meant Death Mountain Trail, uh, obviously. I mean, come on, how could I not? Um, I'm just gonna go grab some money real quick. And the way I'm gonna grab money is I'm going to go all the way up here. As you can see, I have four rupees. Because I did uh, pick up a few. I don't need to go this way. Uh, maybe it's... Maybe it's over here? Yeah, it's here. This wall right here. I, I deliberately saved it. If I bomb the wall and go in here, there is a chest. If I can hit the chest. Come on. A purple rupee. That is 50 rupees. Sweet. Well, I'm going to see if I can accumulate some more over time. Um, you know, I'm not going to make you guys sit through it. I'm really not. I'm going to show you one little thing, and then I'm going to end off the video. Because at this point, it's just kind of boring. All right, what I'm going to do, down here in the village, we go over to the tree where the carpenter's at. Let's uh, save. 
Um, my controller is vibrating. That means there's a secret here. Well, if you place a bomb right around here... Uh, see, that's pretty... Okay, that's pretty quick. That's pretty close. The blast radius... Okay, so I don't know about that one secret uh, over by the by the water. But yeah, anyway, there's a secret down here. And if you drop down here, uh, let's see. And you notice I save stated, right? So we got some re-deads here. So let's go ahead and play the sun song. Freeze them up. Now I'm going to slash attack them. Oh crap, 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 crap. Okay. Unfortunately, he got a hit in. Basically what happens when you slash them, they're they're unparalyzed. So your goal is to just slash as hard as you can. Don't let them turn around and get you like that one did. Um but anyway, when you've killed them both, you get a chest. Um, I like how they don't disappear after they've died. Or if they do, it sure, sure takes a while. Anyway, in this chest is a gold rupee that is 200 rupees. Now, let me reload save. I just wanted to show you that that was there. Between now and the next video, I am going to accumulate norm rupees normally. Like by slashing weeds, breaking jars in the village, uh, Kakariko, or sorry, uh, Hyrule Castle Town, and so on and so forth, and doing everything I can to try to accumulate uh, up to 70 rupees and more. And I'm just gonna keep buying the, uh, the seeds, uh, the magic beans, until I've bought all 10 of them. Well, really, all it'll say all nine of them, because I've already planted one, but yeah. Um, because if you haven't figured it out, those soft spoil spots that we've been running into in the game, you can plant magic beans there. Like I said, they don't come in, they don't become useful until later on in the game. But I'd like to go ahead and get a head start on that. And, uh, I think the last one is going to be... Wait, well, wait, how many do I have? So I have six, uh, really six. Um, 70 for the last one, for the next one, 80 for the long after that, 90, and then it's gonna be 100, I'm guessing. So, basically the last one, I'll just go ahead and grab that gold rupee that I just showed you, and uh, use it to, uh, you know, I'll use it, but yeah, um, in the next video, I will have bought all the seeds. So, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is 480 Volts. Until next time, you have a fantastic rest of your day. Pieces!